Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to now show you how to make a vegetable quesadilla. It's a very simple dish of uh, wheat flour tortilla which have been stuffed inside with vegetables. So to get started, first thing is to uh, get your vegetables all organized. This is a vegetarian version. You can also add uh, a cooked meat into it if you want or cook uh, meats along with the vegetables and stuff it. The choice is entirely yours. This is a veg version where I'm going to cook it with the uh, vegetables and with sweet potato and kidney beans. It gives a very nice flavor to the tortilla. Uh, again, like I said, it's a very simple one. We're starting off first with slicing and then chopping our red onions. Always try and use a red onion because uh, they have got less moisture, they have a better flavor and they hold shape quite well. And they also give a nice color to the dish. So once the onions have been uh, chopped, then chop your carrots, peel them, cut them into sticks and then cut them into fine dices, literally half centimeter dices. After the carrots are done, I'm going to then move on to do the sweet potato. I think sweet potato is very underrated and uh, it's not used much but personally I do like sweet potatoes even for fries at home I try and make it with the sweet potatoes and it works brilliantly. Cut the sweet potatoes also into half a centimeter dice or cubes. You can use normal potatoes that's perfectly okay. Uh, try and use all firm vegetables you want to use. Now again you know these are a few of the ones which I'm using but there's nothing stopping you from using any kind of vegetables which you may want to use. If you want to add into this uh, chicken or lamb or any red meat, feel free. You know, it is personal preferences again. You want to heat oil into a saute pan and add in the sweet potatoes. Now, you can use boiled potatoes or a, a roasted potatoes. It works well, but that will not give it a bite. It will not give it a crunch. By sorting the uh, sweet potatoes and the vegetables into the pan with little oil, what that does is it gives it a like a crispy coating on the outside it just toss it together gives a slight glaze uh, makes it slightly crisp on the outside gives a very nice color but also gives it a bite to the dish so it doesn't become mashy as such so not too soft as such it has a little texture to it a bit bite to it then add in the carrot and the red onion together now you only need to lightly cook the vegetables here once the potatoes have been almost cooked you add in the vegetables and just saute it together so in that way, you have a nice crunch of the vegetables. Then goes in the salt for the seasoning. And for spices, I'm just going to use two spices. I'm going to use cumin powder and I'm going to use red chili powder. Now you can use smoked paprika powder or cane uh, pepper. That's perfectly okay. It is your choice again. If you like it spicier, feel free to add more spices. It's entirely, again, always says is you have to cook the way you like to eat. Then goes in our boiled kidney beans or red beans. You can use a canned kidney bean if you want. That's again perfectly acceptable. Then we add in the boiled sweet corn. Now this is again, a, I'm using a canned sweet corn. Uh, it, it gives a very nice flavor, gives it a subtle sweetness. It gives us more, a, a little bit of a soft, uh, mushy flavor to it and a feel. And I think it works quite well with the balance chopped jalapeno peppers now you can uh, add a green chili if you like you can add a fat uh, green chilies that's also perfectly acceptable take out the mixture in a separate pan add a tortilla lightly warm it up on the heat and add a burger sliced cheese and some grated cheese now this could be a blend of mozzarella and cheddar it will work well but only spread it onto the half side of the tortilla then spoon in the vegetable mixture and spread it across only on the half side and the reason for that is because then I'm going to fold the tortilla into half so it's more like a calzone or a half folded uh, wrap press it down and let it cook on the low heat now what is happening here is that the heat is going to cook the tortilla it's also going to slightly warm up the cheese and the cheese begins to melt and it sticks together with the vegetables and when you bite into the tortilla, eventually you will find a little bit of a cheesy mixture and the vegetables don't fall out. So the cheese actually holds it together quite well. A little bit of oil just to glaze the tortilla also helps it to become crisp. And there we have both the sides are almost ready. The golden brown and the cheese should be nice and soft in the center. 
and the filling should be just warmed enough. The tortilla is done. Let's lift up and have a look. There you can see the cheese is melted off. Flipped over to the second side. Again, gently. This is always onto a low heat or a medium heat. Never onto a high heat. The high heat will basically just uh, cook on the outside. It'll firm up, but it'll not make the cheese very soft, and won't even warm up the vegetables inside. Once the quesadilla is done, transfer it onto a chopping board, and then slice it into half. And as you slice it into half, you get the crunch sound or the crackling sound of the bread. And we are ready. Look at that! That is so gorgeous and beautiful. Crispy on the outside, flavorful vegetables with the crunch on the inside and the melting cheese just binds the whole thing together. It is best eaten warm straight away from the pan as you take it out. Enjoy it. And the easiest thing to have it with is some sour cream or some creme fraiche. There you have it. Do enjoy it and make sure to try it at home and leave your comments on the section below. Bon appetit and happy cooking.